channel with Savvy Gang with Savvy Squad. I know it's been a long time. Should I take this jacket off? Making too much noise because I like to talk with my hands. Okay, so I am back. I took that jacket off. I was getting hot. Anyways, so guys, as you can see, it's a different scene. You know what I'm saying? Um, I moved but uh, da, 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 to Houston, Texas. <laughs> and that's what this video is going to be about. I'm going to tell y'all why I moved, when I moved, how I moved, the reason why I moved. Did I say when, how, what, where, and all that extra mess. And then I'm going to like, um, I'm going to compare, um, the good about Houston and the bad about Houston versus Florida where I came from. So yes, let's get into this video. Hold on. So yeah, I'm looking a little rough, 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 because all my things are packed in my car still. So anyways, let's get into the B beginning on why how Texas started how that came about so I'm the type of person that when I visit somewhere I always say I want to move there because I feel like the place that I used to live it was um Polk County Florida it was too um I don't know how to describe it. It's just like not a place you want to live if you trying to get somewhere big. Because the reason why I say that is not that it's a horrible place to live. It's just not many opportunities for me in the field that I want to go in, which is business and fashion. So back. Um. So like me, I go. I went to Miami for my birthday. As I came back, I said, ooh, I'm finna move to Miami. I went to, um, where else I went? Oh, that was it, Miami twice. London. But the point of the story is, everywhere I go, I see something new. I be like, oh my gosh, like, wow, there's bigger and better things other than this small town of Polk County, Arbonnell. So, um, in November, so yeah, so yeah, I had to go get some water because this mother hot is hot. Okay, so in November, um, I came to Houston, Texas because one of my friends, Judy, she heard of this um the awakening. It was like this gospel thing. So we came here and you know, usually Oh my gosh, it's so nice. I will move here and move here. But um we went to downtown Houston. <clears throat> Sorry, into the city. And then when we was coming back, I seen the school that I wanted to go to, which is also in Florida. It's in Tampa and Miami. But I seen it here. And the thing is, usually when I go somewhere, automatically I look if the school is there so I can move. But it never really happens, you know. It just be in my mind that I'm moving. So this time I ain't look it up. It just we happen to pass by it. Like we're on the highway, on like the top, and it's like on the bottom. We just passing by it, and I'm just like, oh my gosh, they go to school. So fast forward, um, I come home back to Florida, and I'm just like, oh my gosh, I'm moving to Texas. I'm moving to Texas. I'm moving to Texas. The good thing about Houston, Texas, is my sister lived here. Not live, but live here. So I'm just like, that's perfect. Oh my god, that's so perfect because she lives here. I can just move in with her. She let me, or whatever. But the whole time, y'all, I'm the type of person that talk. That's all I do. I be talking and talking and talking. I talk, talk, talk. So I work for this um company, Amazon, and then I look and I see that there was an Amazon here full time. So I was just like, school's here. I'll have a job because I can transfer sisters here I can live with her it's perfect so um so um all of a sudden 
you know, I just, <laughs> you know, when you live in fantasy, like literally, it was like a whole fantasy in my head, but I was really making moves towards it this time. So in January, my sister came down and I just asked her, I was just like, um, dang, what did I ask? I was like, if I come move to Texas, you know, if I come move to Texas, Houston, Texas, can I come stay with you? She was like, sure, because um, our lease is over and um, I don't think my roommate is um, going to stay there anymore. She might move, so you can move with me or if she decides to stay, you can still move with us. So I'm just like, she's okay with it? Okay. <clears throat> so then I went to um, the school in Tampa and I started getting stuff ready. I I called the school in Houston. I enrolled in the school. I um told Amazon like, am I able to switch? They said yes. All that started happening like this. Think about it. November. November, December, January, I talked to my sister. And it's May. And in January, I already told people, yeah, I'm moving in May, because she told me. Well, the reason why I told people I was moving in May is because um, she told me her lease was over May 31st. So I'm telling everybody, oh yeah, I'm moving in May. Um, the end of May, you ain't going to see me. Yeah, no plans was down. Nothing was set. I didn't even sit down and talk to my parents yet. And in my mind, I'm on go. Like... It's now and never like I'm 22 and I want to go to the school I already want to leave Polk County want to find things new things one of the new experience anyway I was like this is my time like it's the only time I have so all that started happening and then I actually started saving money so yeah I actually started saving money for it and um the school accepted me and like the school accepted me in I want to say February the end of the end of February was it March and I transferred my job the end no I transferred the beginning of April they set in me in the middle of May so now I'm in Houston Texas and like I was getting on the plane I came here Monday today's today's Monday like today's Monday I'm recording Monday and I came here last Monday night around like 11 almost 12 o'clock so when I when I got on the plane around 8 30 I was thinking like you really did it <laughs> like I just like that's that's what I'm trying to be on. You put your mind to something and you do it. Do not let people tell you you can't. Do not let people tell you you're not good enough. Because for me, I'm the type of female. For me, I'm the type of person where I felt like in school, I wasn't smart enough. I was not the smartest. I did not graduate with honors. You know what I'm saying? And then... um I've been out of high school since 2016. Been going to school, um, was taking nursing classes, and as a Haitian, it's just like your parents expect all the time. It's just like it don't really work like that. You know what I'm saying? My parents wanted nursing. I wanted fashion. Haitians, <laughs> they look at what gives you money, a lot of money because they don't want you to struggle like they struggled you see what i'm saying and i understand that but at the same time i don't really care i care for money but i don't really care to the point where i'm gonna do something for the rest of my life that i don't like so i was in nursing school and then i sat down with them like look third year so i don't really like it not gonna continue sorry yeah they was upset to the point where they try to have people call me to convince me to stay but i'm just like no one's convincing me to stay in something I don't like so 
y'all people out there that's doing something because other people want you to do it or because your parents are doing it take it from someone that their parents wanted them to do nursing but they didn't want to do nursing and now i'm finally getting to do what i like like i feel like i'm finally not to the finish line but finally touching on what i actually want to do oh yeah i'm out of breath plus it's hot that's not good yeah so at first i was very upset especially my dad very upset oh you wasted three years i feel like no i didn't waste three years because i feel like if i moved out as soon as I got out of high school or did what I'm doing now as soon as I got out of high school the mentality that I am now I wouldn't have back then the people that I see their true colors now I wouldn't see it back then the people that I'm friends with now I wouldn't see that back then you see what I'm saying so I feel like everything happened for a reason mold me into the person that I am today and I especially wouldn't be doing YouTube y'all miss stuff on these <laughs> So, I'm saying, so everything happened for a reason. I feel like I didn't waste no time. <laughs> God is never late. He's always what? On time. And that's what I feel like. My time is this time. And I'm going to shine by like a day. Woo, 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 woo. Yes. <clears throat> so, yes. That's how I... That's how, that's why I'm in Houston. And that's why I moved. Just because I wanted to be something new, new scenery, new people. Um, Houston, Texas. How is it different from Florida? First of all, y'all people from Florida that's watching this, y'all know. Florida is hot. Okay? But at least when we get some breeze, the breeze is a little cool. Texas is Okay, it's hot and the breeze is dry and hot. I never felt heat like this before. And I lived in Florida all my life, except for when I moved from Haiti, all my life, okay? So when they tell you Texas is hot, trust them, believe them, cause it is. Another thing, I-4 in Florida. Y'all think that's crazy? No. The freeways here, everything you have to do, like most of everything you have to do, you have to get on the freeway. Unless you take back roads. I don't know if there's back roads. Y'all know, I just moved here. It's only been a week. <laughs> it's only been a week. But yeah, from what I know, everything I had to do, I had to get on some type of freeway. At least um over there, all we have is iPhone. They got... um what 10 wait 610 they got i-45 they got i don't know but ever since i came here i started work i came monday i started work um wednesday ever since i came they just building these highways higher and higher it's like this higher and higher when i first went to work y'all i used my gps no lie I don't know if I don't know how to read the GPS and I just kept taking exit that I wasn't supposed to take but all I heard was merge in 1.5 miles merge 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 in the traffic they said there's like certain times of the day where they have traffic just like Florida traffic is horrible I'll be coming home from work I get off at 6. I'll make it back at like 7, 10. Yeah, but that's all I could say about what's different. Because y'all know it's only been a week. I probably have more stuff later on. But that's all I can see right now. So I just came. My sister went back to Florida. So that's why I'm here and not exploring but as soon as we get our apartment next week i will be doing an apartment tour a room tour i don't know about apartment tour because you know i have to make sure my sister's okay with it first if it was my apartment and my apartment only yes of course i'm gonna show y'all whatever the 
first look of it without furniture and all that but since you know I have a roommate gotta make sure everybody's comfortable of our stuff being on the net so I will be definitely doing a room tour before I get my beds and all that so I'll be showing y'all all that I'll be updating y'all and y'all will be getting more videos <laughs> since I'm living with my sister y'all probably get prank videos we're doing cooking videos um vlogging a lot um because we're trying to get our views up our subscribers up you see what i'm saying so please if you're new to this channel please like comment and make sure you subscribe to my channel that was it guys that's why i moved to houston and yeah i'm gonna catch you next time oh <clears throat> one more thing my usually i post every like wednesday or thursday and always saturdays but since my work schedule changed I usually work Friday through Monday. Now I work Wednesday through Saturday because I wanted Sunday off to go to church. So that means the video when I post is going to be different. I don't know what days I'm going to choose yet because I still got to get the hang of, you know what I'm saying, balancing and doing all that. So I don't know. I'm most likely going to post this tomorrow. So yeah. I'll keep y'all updated on that too. But yes, we're moving next week and I can't wait to show y'all. <laughs> but yes, guys, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you're new. I hope y'all enjoyed this video and see you next time with Sabi Gang.